Right up here, okay? Down the left. Oh, kid! Oh. Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Got it? Thanks for dropping me off. Yeah. Tell Kate happy Halloween, will you, Anna? Yeah, I will. All righty. But the party's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, more fun than uh, driving with you. Yeah, I, I feel kind of bad about, like, leaving you guys to work. Me oh, come on. Don't worry about it. I know you're short-handed. It's no problem. I like getting back on the street like this. Yeah. And we even had to call some cadets in. <clears throat> Watch it. I'm trained for right along. Just remember, if we have any action, stay out of the way, you know? I, I like all the glory. Yeah. No heroic antics from you. Okay. Got it. Is Felicia going to party? No. no. She's at home in bed. Is she all right? Well, yeah, she's fine. She's about ready to deliver. She's got to take it easy. She's pregnant. You know that. Tony's with her, though, isn't he? Yeah. I wouldn't leave her alone. Well, she's going to be fine. The doctor said that everything's going on just great, right? she is due to deliver any day now. Yeah, thousands of women have had children, and they've been fine about it. Why don't you just relax about it? I'm trying. Wait, 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 wait. This is... Children. Put the gun away. Looks like we're in for a wild night. You sure you should be out? <laughs> I'm fine. As long as I know, Felicia's home and safe. I wish I was. Bye-bye. Okay. Everything's under control. I'd love to give you something, but I'm, I'm completely out and I'm locked out of the house. Sure, sure. You just don't want to give us any candy. Let's spray print our stew. No, no, really. I'm completely locked out of the house. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't happen to have a quarter that I could borrow, would you? What, do we look like stupid or something? Go grab some money from somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. No, really, I'm locked out of the house. If you could just lend me a quarter, I... Crap. Hello, uh, Chuker. Reservations for Victor Jerome? Yeah, I mean, no, there's no name. Listen, I've been thinking about it, what you said about him having relatives, maybe. Yeah, it's logical, isn't if it? If he has relatives, why haven't they come forward to claim the diamonds? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they don't like poor Charles. Look, if there are relatives, I'm going to find out about them. I thought you were supposed to be working. Anyway, go away and work. Oh, the little girl, she wanted some something to eat, so I sent her to get some coffee and donuts, you know, break her in on the old, uh, the street dinner. You seen Kate around? I got to tell her I can't stay at this party tonight. You like my hat? Stick them up. Hi, Kate. Hi. That's funny to you, blue eyes. Nice outfit. Thanks. Very nice. Both of you, you look very nice. Thank Listen, you. I can't stay at the party tonight, okay? Oh. Listen, have a have a little drink for me. Gotta go. Bye bye. Bye. <sighs> you should have seen me standing there in my pajamas, telling all the moms what a nice, quiet little summer party we were gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> they believed you. Well, I had on my pajamas, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Robin? Your mom fall for it? Yeah. See. Okay, well, let's head to the catacombs and party. Yeah. yeah. First the seance, <laughs> then we party. Why don't we have to do that? Because it's Halloween, the night when the spirits of the dead walk the earth. And tonight, yeah. we're going to talk to one of them, Victor yeah. Jerome. Victor Jerome? Why, you? Why him? Yeah. Because, for one thing, his body washed up on shore last Halloween. So the timing's perfect. For another thing, we have in our midst the person who found the body. Well, it was actually my parents, you know. Wait, you, you were there? Oh, yeah. You probably picked up some of his vibes. Yeah. I'll bet he'd appear if you asked him. I hope not. He's not exactly one of my family's favorite people. Do we have to pick him? It's scarier to talk to somebody who was murdered. Yeah. Hey, maybe we could ask him who killed him. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's just go. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen, you're not scared, are you? No. Listen, don't worry. I'll, I'll protect you. Robin? 
Yeah. 323 Harborview Drive. That's that old uh, Harrington estate, isn't it? Right. Uh, got a call about a possible break-in from Alan Quartermain. All right, we're on our way. Out. Damn it. I wanted to stop by the Brownstone to see Felicia. Well, we can run in quick. Well, I don't think so. If Alan called in, it's got to be something kind of serious. His house is right next to that estate over there. Well, you said your brother's with Felicia, right? I bet I still want to stop in and see her. You sure do worry about her. You know, believe me, she had her days of worrying about me. I remember when I was a wee tadpole just like you. Cadet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when I first started thinking about joining the force and becoming a cop, she wasn't for it at all. And she realized how much I wanted it. And she was behind me all the way. So why did you give it up? It seemed like you would have been a good cop. You're never home. You never know what kind of situation you're walking into. You, your personal life suffers and, I don't know, it can be hell even though you love it. It's hard on the person you live with. I guess I hadn't thought about that. Tell you what, you better start thinking about it if you want to be a good cop. It's a total commitment. Don't forget that. And you didn't have it? I love the work. Don't get me wrong. I still do. I just I just love my family a little more. You're looking forward to having a baby, aren't you? Well, let's put it this way. I just like to watch her grow up. Having kids is uh pretty tough. Yeah. I know that firsthand. Robert's daughter Robin taught me that. Enough talk. Put the siren on. Let's move. Everybody hold hands. Okay. Here we go. We're here tonight on All Hallows Eve. A night when the spirits of the dead walk the earth. To summon forth the spirit of Victor Jerome. Are you out there, Victor? Hey, Victor Jerome! Come on down! You can't be serious, Craig. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. Your friends, Victor, we're here to help you. Are you out there? <laughs> A year ago tonight, your body washed ashore on Spoon Island. Show yourself to us. Tell us who murdered you. Listen, it's only a game. It's not like some dead person's gonna show up here. Oh no. Oh no. What's that? I, I just wanted the kid, you know? I didn't think so. I did it. Oh, <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing here? I don't have to do the explaining. You were supposed to be at a slumber party, weren't you? That's what Christo said. I don't think your mom's going to think this is very funny. I can explain everything. Okay, go ahead. Misha, all I wanted to do is get together for Halloween. And your mom doesn't know you're here? No. Listen, we weren't doing anything wrong, really. It's not a very good idea to be in here. It's not very safe. You're supposed to be in bed. Well, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I, I wanted to, to celebrate Halloween myself, but nobody would let me go to Delafield, so I decided to have my own little party, and then it turned out that I blew a fuse and I got locked out of the house. Sounds like we're both in trouble. Yeah, I tried to make a phone call to Tony, and I didn't have a quarter. Um, you wouldn't happen to have a quarter, would you, any of you? No. No, 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 no. Well, listen, I'll go get some change for a dollar. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We should. We weren't doing anything wrong. We were just having a seance. Oh, really? Really? Oh, I love seances. Have you conjured up any spirits yet? Not yet. We thought you were one. Oh, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> I remember when I was your age, we used to have seances all the time with my friends at the Hacienda. Really? Uh, did you talk to anybody? Well, no, we didn't actually talk to anybody, talk? but... What? Tell us. 
Well, I remember one night in particular. It was a full moon, and the wind was blowing, and we were trying to bring out the spirit of one of our relatives, Maximilian. And so, snip, off went the ribbon. And snap, off went her head. It went rolling in the moonlight, wearing tearfully. I told you, you'd be sorry. <gasps> that was a good one. Think there are any ghosts in here? Who knows what lurks in the halls and the catacombs on Halloween night. Maybe we should have the seance somewhere else. You know, I got a better idea. Let's go get a pizza and forget about the seance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Guide one. Yeah. There's one down the order. I don't know. You're good. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You're not going to tell me about all of this, are you? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I mean, I can't go home, so no, I lied to her. We could still have the slumber party. We could? Sure. But then it wouldn't be like you lied, right? Right. Yeah. Who's back? Who's back? Hey, sorry it took so long. Everybody I asked for money, uh, oh. thought I was panhandling. Thank you. I've really got to get to a phone now. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay. You're not going to tell my mom about this. No, don't no, don't worry about it. Go ahead and go on over to Kim's. You're sure I'm you're fine. okay? I'm perfectly fine. Happy okay. Halloween. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Tell him it's his wife and that it's very important. What? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, could you do me a favor? Once you patch me through to Frisco, can you, can you call Dr. Kyle Morgan and tell him to meet me at General Hospital? Tell him that it's time. Sweetheart? Hi, honey. I was just going to call the house. Anything wrong? Uh, don't be mad at me, but... D did I... you get out of bed? Well, yes, I, I was bored. Everybody was getting dressed up for Halloween, and I didn't get to get dressed up, so I decided to do it. I, I dressed up as a clown. You're not supposed to be... And I, was, and I was dressing up, and I put my makeup on, and I was ironing my tie, and all of a sudden, the lights went out. Felicia, listen. And then, and then I figured it was just the fuse, so I went down to see the fuse box, and I couldn't find the fuse box, but then all of a sudden, there were some trick-or-treaters. Honey, honey, I went, to the the door. So I went to the door, and then they locked me out. I was locked out of the house. You're locked out right now? I, and then I tried to call you, but I didn't have a quarter. Uh, honey, don't worry about it. Forget it. We're on the way. Anything. Don't worry about a thing. We're on the way. Put the sirens on. Felicia's locked out of the house. Move it. Move it. All I really need is a lift to the hospital. 